Hey everyone, <clears throat> welcome back. Uh, this is Node here. We're gonna cover uh, TRB. This asset had quite quite a major move. Um, it broke out of a major wedge pattern. I don't know, is, is this the right chart? Let me see. I don't know that this is the right chart actually. Let me uh, see if I can get the right there. Yeah, this looks about right. Um, yeah, so in the alert service uh, a while ago, I actually called out this double bottom formation back in August. Um, this was a, a nice falling wedge setup uh, that broke out. Um, and you guys can see if you plot your Fibonacci's here, uh, this went to the 1414 Fib extension and got a massive drawdown after that. Uh, we had weekly bearish divergence uh, in showing that a big drop was coming, right? You had the high and the lower high with the highest high on price, right? Your, your weekly bearish divergence here. And uh, you got it. You got. You then proceeded to get a weekly cross down. All right. And if you look carefully at the stochastic RSI here on the weekly, it is down here in the buy zone now. Now it hasn't crossed up on the weekly chart, but if you go to like the three day and the two day, you can see that it's starting to pick up its momentum again, right? Because all it's done really is make a new all time high, and then now it's making a higher low than this low. So really, you probably have some two and three day bullish divergence on the MACD. Here's your two day. You can clearly see you have, you know, your, your, uh, your negative momentum from this, this wave, and then some more negative momentum here, even more negative momentum. But this, this, this is the lowest level of momentum that you've ever seen on the asset, but you've made a higher low on price than these two previous lows. So yes, you have hidden bullish divergence on the asset. And you're 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 strongly holding this base. This base right here is the previous all time high from the from the 2021 cycle. So what I'm inclined to believe is that we are going to see this asset actually uh, reverse its trend and probably try to leg up to an even higher price. Um, this is just kind of what I'm looking at right here on the uh, shorter time scales. We could just end up getting a retest of you know the 156 level, you know, with that divergence to play out. Um, because, you know, the weekly oscillator isn't necessarily uh, implying a cross back up yet. Um, but, you know, your three day charts are looking like you're about to get a cross back up on the RSI here. The two day looking pretty good um, as well with volume receding here. So you could consolidate for a bit. Um, you are in a daily and two day squeeze. And what that means is it is trading between the Keltner channel and the Bollinger Band. Now, I can't show that on this chart here. Otherwise, trading view won't, won't let me won't let me post it. But um uh, the node squeeze indicator that I use actually is is implying and telling us that information. Um, so this is kind of my, uh, you know, short little analysis here on TRB. This thing went nuts. It's got a very low token supply. You can see after it broke out of this wedge, it just went straight up. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you guys can also plot uh, what looks to be a demand line right here. You have this low, um, you know, this low right here catalyzes major move. And now it's coming into contact again with it or close to it. So it could remain in this uptrend and that could support this move. Um, and you guys can also see by the volume how it's receding here that it could be setting up for a move and the oscillators are implying that as well. If you guys like this content, you guys know what to do. Smash up the rocket button, hit the subscribe button to the to the trading view channel here and uh, make sure you guys check out my new YouTube channel. It is in my profile. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll catch you guys in the next one.